Hey guys, this is Derek with UofMTiger.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Dragonfly DAC and how it works with the iPhone 6 Plus or the iPad Air 2. One of the issues with using the Dragonfly DAC with the iPhone 6 Plus is when you plug it into the camera connection kit, you get this error message, um, which means it's not drawing enough power. Um, the way that you can get around that issue is by adding one of these devices, which I'll go over here in a second. Um, first of all, you're going to get the camera connection kit. Um, you can get one of those at Apple or Amazon. I'll probably have a link below. Um, you also need a DrBot T3 hub, a Dragonfly DAC, or a pluggable. Um, it's a USB hub in place of the T3 hub. Um, the reason I'm putting those both of these out is the T3 hub is no longer available. Um, here's a adapter so that I could use large headphones with the iPhone 6 Plus or the iPad um, Air 2 and the Dragonfly. Um, so first of all I'm just going to show you how to hook this up. You just take the iPhone uh, camera connection kit or the Apple connect camera connection kit, plug that into the lightning port and um, that gives you a USB female USB port. Um, now I could either use the T3 hub or the pluggable. Um, I'm just going to show you the pluggable here. You plug that in there and it gives you two female um, plugs and you can plug the Dragonfly into that and you can see there that it's getting a signal. Now you just plug the full size um, headphones into the adapter and plug that into the Dragonfly and you're ready to see if it will play. So, ne so here's a quick look at the pluggable with the Dragonfly. Um, the, I also I want to show you that the T3 Hub works with it. Um, this is the Dr. Bot T3 Hub, and Dr. Bot, Bot is no longer in business. So um, the pluggable is a good um, substitute for it. Um, the only difference is the T3 Hub. I tested that with a iPhone 4S and a iPad Air 3. Uh, no, iPad 3 and it worked fine with those. Um, the un Unlike the pluggable, which I could not get enough power um, out of those even with the pluggable. So T3 Hub is a little more versatile. Um, here it is with the iPad Air 2. Um, you can see it's working fine. Um, you notice that the Dragonfly was magenta in that particular pic. Um, well, that means that it's drawing a 96 kilohertz signal, so it does work with high resolution files, at least up to 96 kilohertz. I didn't test it with higher resolution, but um, here's a quick look at it, um, a close-up of the Magenta Dragonfly. And um, I tested it with all of these headphones and the iPad Air 2 and the iPhone 6 Plus, and it worked with all of them. Um, as you can see, it's a versatile um, choice for someone that wants a to use their Dragonfly DAC on the go and doesn't have a power source available. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.